Hello, uh, thanks for rejoining us. It's the Breakfast on PLUS TV, and we are being joined by uh, a member of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, IPMAN, in the person of Chief Ukadike, uh, to talk to us on the NNPCL's issue of oil marketers with fresh directive on refund and new prices. Good morning and welcome to the program, Chief. Uh, my friend, and uh, good morning, Nigerians. Okay. Um, Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPCL, uh, has issued a fresh directive to oil marketers on how to go about getting their refund and the new prices of petroleum products. Uh, work us through what this really means, because we do not understand um, what, uh, how this impacts on the oil marketers and what the, the story is all about. Let's get an insight first. Okay, well, uh, it's been a very, very trying time for us because uh, independent marketers, our only source of petroleum product is NMPCL because uh, they are the only people that supply petroleum products and they are also supply to the Dapman members. So we normally get our supply from NMPCL and uh, sometimes we also source from uh, Dapman members when NMPCL run, run out of stock. And definitely we always uh, uh, look towards uh, having the best price from an MPCL. So during this time of uh, deregulation, uh, our tickets were already in the system. We paid 8,100,000 for 45 liter, uh, thousand liters of petrol on the per liter price of 180 naira. You know, the benchmark then was to sell at 195, 194. But uh, the, I don't say, for, unfortunately, uh, during this period under review, uh, Mr. President came in and made that policy statement. So, and immediately NMPC has stopped supplying us. Most of us who has paid uh, the 1.8 million, uh, 8 million 100,000 for a product for since past three months have not yet received uh, because uh, the NMPC gave us directives that we should augment it. And augmenting it would cost us close to 13 million naira, 13.8 million, approximately 14 million. You know what it takes in the Nigerian economy now and the banking system with this high interest rates. So uh, it's becoming very, very difficult for, NMP, uh, for independent marketers uh, to cope in with this new directive. A lot uh, of your... Also in bits. Go ahead. Please, yeah, go go ahead. ahead. Well, a lot of your marketers are already lamenting, your colleagues are already lamenting that they will not be able to meet up. Does this mean uh, that most of your members in the smaller downstream uh, members of your uh, group are going to go under? Yes, uh, there have been protests, uh, uh, a handful of protests here and there, and also an, an internal murmuring by our members. They have besieged our offices at our national headquarters, and our uh, national president has uh, engaged them, a large devil has engaged uh, NMPCF. Although what they were able to resolve from the meeting was uh, the issue of margin tickets. Since some of us have more than five, six tickets in the system that you can be matched so that you can make up the fund. But we have issue of uh, funding. Funding is our problem. Look at the huge amount of money we are going to invest on this project product. 21.7 million, 21 million, 800 something thousand. And your profit is not up to even 1 million naira. And you might take two, three months to sell one drop of, depending on the size of your station, and Nigerians now are minimizing uh, buying petroleum products. Before, in a fuel station, a fuel station can sell up to 10,000 liters, 11,000, 15,000, 20,000 liters per day. But now, most of those fuel stations now are struggling to even sell 500, naira, uh, 500 liters a day. And it's the same uh, diesel. We are buying diesel close to 750 naira, 800 naira. And we are running the station, the same staff. So business is not uh, good for independent marketers. And uh, it is not easy because we are already paying back in interest on um, some of our tickets that have been there for more than four months. NMPC have not given us supply. And then I said, if before we carry it, we also have to top it up with 13.7 million there. So uh, most of our members were agitating, you know, that why don't you give us the ones who have paid already so that we will go and sell them because the, 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 the money has been there for more than three, four, five months. Here in interest. And uh, some of our trusts have been mobilized to NMPC depots to be able to pick these products, and NMPC did not supply us. So is it our own uh, problem that you didn't supply us as, as, as went due, 
So why are we now doing differential? But the management came out and said, no, that you, before you, you do any differential, that was that memo you are talking about. And before you do, you must do a differential to pick your product or they will give you your refund. And if they give you your refund, I also want to let you know that the sources of uh, petroleum products in Nigeria has not been multiple. It is still, it is still mono. NMPC is still supplying it, even when this regulation policy is being implemented. We are still at the mercy of NMPC. If had it been that other people have been given licenses to import or there are importation of petroleum products from other sources, we will not have, independent marketers will not have authority. For us, I'm talking to you now, on record, we don't have authority. Okay, uh, but is this even legal? Because are you exploring any legal uh, steps to recollecting uh, this your money, getting your refunds, or not even refunds, getting the products for which you paid? Because if you paid four months ago, except maybe you pay and say, whenever the product is ready, I can get it. But if you paid four months ago, expecting to have uh, these products, that shouldn't be a cost that you should carry. So are you exploring any legal ways to uh, address this issue, or you're just going to collect your money back or add the 13 point something million naira to get new products? We have constantly, uh, in so many ways, approached NMPC. We have called them, we have discussed with them. We have also used our lawyer to write them at that uh, place. They should be able to revisit uh, that template or even, even give us a discount based, uh, of the, uh, of, uh, based on uh, incurring interest on the, on the money we borrowed from bank. But uh, they were very, very adamant on this. And well, because we you know, like I said, that the source of uh, petroleum product in Nigeria is still monopolistic and they still have NPCs that is supplying everybody in this country. So we don't have any option. Uh, then we have written them uh, with our lawyer. They have not yet uh, to reply. And when it comes to the truth to tie down there, most of this, because of this increment, most uh, independent marketers is going out of business because it's not even easy for us to raise 8.7 million naira for the first place now, coming to raise with 1.7 million naira to buy 45,000 liters of uh, PMS at, uh, at, the, at the present rate of uh, five, um, 494 naira per liter. So it's, it's a very, very trying time for independent marketers. We're almost out of business. And it's very disastrous. We have been calling the federal government and also other agencies to intervene in this issue to see how they can be able to appeal to the MD of NMPCL to give us a discount. Even if it's 30 naira, 40 naira discount, it can also give to us so that we can be able to take those our tickets. And like I said, I'm talking to you now. Some other private depots that, own, that, that have uh, products and have tickets of our members also give them discount. Some of them pay 400 naira and be able to pick up the product so that to cushion the first of, uh, of interest uh, loan from bank. Because by the time we top up 13.7 million naira, we we'll also be selling at a loss because interest have already taken our. our our, 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 our profit. And you'll find that the marketer will be struggling to be able to recover his capital. Well, NNPC uh, petrol import monopoly is the big thorn on the back or the flesh of marketers, as you have repeatedly stated this morning. And uh, there is this headline that says that uh, marketers are moving to end uh, NNPCL uh, petrol import monopoly. Uh, bring us up to speed on this move by marketers to end this monopoly that's been a major problem to you. Well, because because we are not uh, actually expecting the deregulation uh, policy to be removed abruptly, uh, that is why we were caught up in the web. But as I know, uh, by last week when we had our um, uh, National Working Committee meeting, we discussed uh, that I also have uh, applied to NNDPR for a license to import product. I was also talking with our, some of our foreign partners to see the best way we can be able to import uh, petroleum product and distribute. Like I, I keep on saying it, that independent marketer is the only channel that petroleum products can be displayed in the news and crying of this country. And we are holding tenacious. 90% of the distribution and retail unless in Nigeria with the highest uh, storage facility. So it is, we are, we, are, we, are, we are status ready to go into importation. Like I said, we can evacuate, no matter uh, how many millions of liters we import, we can go to evacuate it. What we need is comparatively is competition in this market to be able to reduce price. Because they said uh, uh, demand of supply determines price. So when we will have uh, uh, abundant supply of petroleum products, I also want to bet you that 
the cost of petroleum products will come to. Since our consumption has been cut off, uh, uh, cut off by uh, the price, and some neighboring countries are no longer uh, sucking from Nigeria and reaping the dividends of subsidy. Uh, well, uh, we were just wondering, just like Maureen asked, uh, when uh, we'll get something definite. Because uh, if NNPC is still in charge at this time, after the subsidy has been removed, it's, it's, it's uh, a worrisome thing. Uh, but how far have you gone? Uh, how far are you, how close are you to the point where uh, um, licenses will start to be uh, issued? They will begin to issue licenses to independent people that might want to import fuel into the, the country. What have you done about that? How much is the level of engagement with the people that matter uh, in that regard? Well, I still want to let you know that uh, all this depends on uh, government parastasis to be able to issue those licenses. And you cannot start importing petrol products without getting license from NDPL. So it is not on our own making uh, or we can be able to determine when license will be issued to us. But we're also asking the federal government to ensure that the process of issuing licenses to, for importation will be very, very brisk because of the, the period we are finding ourselves. We are, well, we are just trying to rig out of this trying time uh, because uh, the federal government wants Nigerians to face the reality. And also, I, I believe uh, that the NNPPR will ensure that uh, some of these licenses will be issued as quickly as possible. It is not only independent marketers. Major marketers are also sourcing their uh, licenses to import petroleum products. Even that part members also have gone to source licenses to import petroleum products. Uh, previously, we independent marketers have been importing petroleum products. We have been importing HU and all the rest of them. But we're having some challenges, little market challenges of uh, recouping this uh, forest back uh, to where we import the petroleum product, which is one of the slacks that we have. But I know that by now, government will have find out the seamless uh, way around the new, whereby people can be able to uh, recoup their money and transform it to forest so that they can be able to go back and import again. Well, smaller fuel stations will definitely fold up from what we're seeing with the kind of challenges that your, 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 you and your people are having, independent marketers. Um, tell us, uh, will that also affect the availability of fuel? Well, yeah, uh, definitely it will. Definitely, but it will not be as significant as it used to be before. Because uh, with this uh, uh, removal of this regulation, you will find out that even Nigerians are not protesting. Neighboring countries who are, who are, who are uh, using that opportunity to siphon products from Nigeria are now people that are protesting. You will find out that everybody has cut down uh, his movement in terms of even using fuel in their generators and all the rest of them. And uh, movement, people now prefer to do Zoom meeting than meeting in a venue. So you see Nigeria are trying to adjust. You saw they say Nigeria are happy people. So we are trying as much as possible to be able to be happy with the kind of condition we are finding ourselves. And I also believe at the end of the day, it will turn out very, very good. And it will also moderate uh, the, the lives and well-being of people. But I, I, don't, I don't know how, how it's going to stop smuggling into other countries because Obviously, whatever we sell in Nigeria, it is almost like double or more uh, in neighboring countries when the petroleum products are taken there. And I'm sure that's why people smuggle these things to that place. So you now saying that the, our consumption has reduced because of what is happening now. What if these licenses are given to the independent marketers and they import this fuel into the country and then uh, they decide also to sell in the countries that will have more... Um, more value, will give them more value for their, for their products. How are you going to prevent that? Is it possible? Well, I, I will not say that uh, uh, if a product is being sold at 195 Naira, it's just a very, very simple arithmetic. If a product is being sold at 195 Naira, and in a neighboring country like Kimiru, Togo, and all the rest of them, uh, uh, it's being sold at 400 or something like Nigeria, Naira equivalent. And now it's sold in Nigeria, and 400 and like something like 500, and I don't think uh, business will be as usual. The rate of consumption there, if they will increase, they will increase the 800 and something. Like it will model the consumption there too. So it will also reduce the consumption at that particular place. So what, when you have excessive things, you use excessively. 
when the product is 180, you can decide to burn your generator for four days without stopping. But now it's 500, or a liter is 500 something now. I don't bring any right that I take in Nigeria that is receiving money the way I'm receiving. We'll be able to lavishly uh, use all these kind of PCVs and all the rest of them. So you will see that the consumption is even NMPC has also, NMPCL has also said they're going to adjust uh, their importation in the person volume because uh, demand has reduced. So it's, 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 it's simple arithmetic. It's, it's there. It's not some, what somebody will say I'm permutating. We are not permutating it. People now buy 10 liters and they use it for three days, knowing fully well that they don't just go to go and check out somebody without calling up the person. So you find out the behavior attitudes and the character, characters of people have changed towards fuel consumption. Okay. Oh, well, this means that, of course, you know, before now we were told by NNPC that Nigeria consumes 66 million uh, liters of fuel daily. Uh, now that will drastically drop, uh, apart from dropping, uh, we won't have that controversies anymore uh, because the customs yeah. had also said it gave us a different figure. So we won't have that controversy anymore with regards to what Nigeria actually consumes on a daily. Did, did you hear me, Chief? Hello, Chief. We, we, uh, we seem to have lost connection with Chief Okadike Chinedu, a member of IPMAN. Hello, Chief. I'm hearing you. Go ahead. Please. Yes, I, I was saying that with this whole development, the controversies yeah. over the quantity of petrol consumed daily in Nigeria uh, will no longer be there. Hitherto, NNPC has said we consume 90, uh, 66 million liters daily. Uh, customs had given a different figure. So this will take away all of that controversies uh, from, from uh, the narrative. Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm aware that there's a statement created by NNPC that they are going to reduce their importation of petroleum product to 30 million liters daily, you know, for Nigerians. And uh, I think... Uh, the statistics will be very, very realistic within a short period of time if we will be able to articulate. I also know that uh, NN, NNDPR has also issued a statement to be able to see how they can be able to track uh, products that have been supplied, to be able to determine actually the quantity of petroleum products uh, that is being distributed and consumed uh, by Nigeria. I think all the whole sectors, I, 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 um, administration is all about policy. And policy is all about the person who issues it. I think some some parasitizers and institutions who oh, they are like a certain attitude towards some of these things. I think they have pressed up maybe because they know that with the coming of this uh, the new president and an new sheriff in town, that uh, if you don't perform well, your job is online. You um, know when? Yeah, okay. well, yeah. I'm I'm just I'm just worried about the the future from what is happening right now. Uh, what kind of hope do we have in the coming days, let's say in the next three months, what are we looking at from your experience with the NNPC, with policymakers and everybody, what are Nigerians looking at in the, next, in the coming days? Okay, uh, you know, like, like I said before, we have an interaction with uh, Mr. President during his campaign uh, uh, period and he, he frankly told us that the, the corruption in, in subsidy is so much that Nigeria, it will, it will kill Nigeria. And it's going to remove subsidy. And uh, that he has uh, what it takes to do. He has the, the apparatus and, and, and the, the pictures to also uh, uh, implement it. And uh, although we are thinking that some of those uh, um, modalities would have come before the policy statement, but because the policy statements have been done, and maybe there is an internal meeting, uh, NMPCL went ahead and swooped up Nigerians to be able to show that uh, uh, they, are, they are working in line with the directive of Mr. President. And they, uh, it, it comes to everybody from the web. So I also believe that uh, uh, we will also have our trust, because the most important thing is that you must put trust in leadership. No matter what, you must also put trust in leadership. We have to trust this leadership and be able to uh, comply and support them and to find out actually the best way uh, things will, will, will work out. So although it is very, very difficult for us independent marketers, because I'm telling you that the cost of fund is so there. We don't have a petroleum bank. We don't have an energy bank. Like they have back of industry and all the rest of them, whereby we can take pool, pool fund 
I'm able to do our business because our business is also essential. We're also in a, we're a category, we categorized as essential workers because petrol is very, very essential to all the households. Well, Nigeria is driven by domestic distribution of petroleum products. So I also believe uh, that we must have faith in this leadership and see what they can bring to the front burner. Um, by the next three months, maybe we'll also have a chat like this to be able to appraise where we are and where we are coming from. To know whether we'll go back to where we are coming from or to know where we'll forge ahead. Well, before the deregulation, uh, the marketers too were fingered with regards to making things difficult, taking advantage of Nigerians and, and, and making things a bit difficult for Nigerians, even including this taking of our fuel to neighboring countries to sell. Uh, you, you, you do recall that the minute the president said fair subsidy was gone, marketers took advantage of it, of it and began to sell at crazy prices before the price template was given. How do you respond to that? No, no, no. Marketers did not take any advantage. Even Nigerians took advantage. Even when they said that the, 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 the regulation, and uh, uh, you see Nigeria scooped the filling station, you see thousands of vehicles with their dedicated bottle and get to go buy at that same coach price and all the rest of them. But when immediately the price was adjusted, uh, you see the whole queue will disappear. So who is taking a uh, turn on each other? Marketers don't even have money, enough money to be able to buy at a new price. And you also want somebody to sell off what he has, a, a furniture he has, uh, and which he knows that that furniture is almost uh, 700,000, maybe he, he pegged it for 300, and he wanted to sell 300. So how will you go and replace that furniture? How will you go and replace that product? So Nigerians also want to take, take, take advantage of the... Yeah, uh, the explanation that was given that time, Chief, because Nigerians yeah. were asking if the fuel they bought was bought when subsidy was paid, because it's, it was supposed to have ended by the end of June. And the yes. announcement was made in May. And then well, yes. they began to sell to us as a, at a price that seemed to suggest that it wasn't subsidized, when it was subsidized. The explanation yes. given was, well, it, 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 so that you marketers will be able to buy again you know, when you buy without subsidy. And now, you marketers are still crying that uh, it's ex exorbitant. What about the money you made no, from no, the no, sale? My, no, my sister, my sister, listen, listen. We started this conversation with a very simple question. Our tickets are in the system we bought at the old regime price, which is 180. Those system has, this ticket has still there. And then MPC has not, has not loaded us. And they have reverted to the new price. So how do we sell the one we have in our village station, the old price? When even our tickets, we have over uh, uh, 4,500 tickets at the old regime price in the NMPC coffers, as I'm talking to you now. And we are now insisting that NMPC, you are, you are asking me based on what in NMPC. I said they said they will not sell to us at the old price we bought. I bought something in your in your in your supermarket at the old price. You did not supply me. When I said you should supply me, he said no, I should stop money. That market has increased. Are you also now advising independent marketers to sell the little one they have in their village station at the old price? The one will come here, will now, where will we get the money? How do we get the money now to talk and collect this one to come and sell to you? Are you know that we need to service you? I will not profit to rent it. Mm -hmm. Even now that we are feeling at a loss, we are, we are, we, this is our business now. We are administrating at a loss. Okay. We are paying our workers, we are paying our drivers, we are paying our, we are, we are doing our trust, government taxes here and there. And you use 21.7 million naira to do business, you cannot get up to 1 million naira as profit in one month. Mm. So the so major so problem is the NNPC. How do we recoup our investment? Yeah, the, the major problem is the NNPC delaying in the supply of the goods that you already paid for. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Chivuka. I want to them to, beg them to to give all this petroleum product that we have paid for over five, six months. And it's still there, the interest is yielding. And they say we should go and bring 13 for 20 billion naira to top it up. And now you are not here advising the independent marketer to sell out the ones they have. And that, that was in May, May. We're talking about what happened in May. That I, I'm making reference to yeah, what happened said, in May. This, this product we, we paid in February, so I'm paid in January. It has not been yet supplied. The tickets, the tickets are there. I can forward it to you. 
Because so the understanding about, we had... I, I'm talking about product we paid in February. Mm -hmm. Yes. Chivo Kadike, we, we, we understand what is happening. We're just asking, you it's know. Very, because, it's, but it's very, very painful. We, we understand what is happening. That's why uh, among the very first questions I asked you was whether you're exploring uh, legal means. Because normally, like you alluded to, you don't pay for a product in a supermarket and they collect the money months ago. They do not... Supply. supply and then now they're asking you to pay the 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 new price it's not done anywhere uh, i do it's hope that done. i really wish that you will uh, explore legal means so that the interpretation will be given to nigerians it might happen in another sector and we need to know what the outcome is likely to be uh, but we as we sympathize with you as it were <laughs> now uh, that we have a clear understanding yes, yes. because nigerians were really miffed when you know, that inauguration statement was given and suddenly, suddenly the, prices the prices moved. Went when we were told that the budget was subsidized, it was in the budget, mm -hmm. the subsidy lasted up to 31st uh, of June. So Nigerians began to wonder why are the marketers ripping us off when they bought during subsidy. Mm. So, so we now, now we have a clearer picture. Yeah. But my idea, immediately that statement was done, they stopped supply. No, there was sold any little, any one liter of product for 48 hours. No depot sold any one liter of product for 48 hours. And when we and I came back to say, okay, give us our product, they said, no, we should go and bring 13 point something million naira. Even those who pays for, for a vessel, who pay 2 point something billion, we are not asked to make up 9 point something billion. It's, it's a way of telling us that this business is no longer for the poor, it's no longer for the middle class, like people like us, that we should leave. Mm. And go and maybe turn our free station to farms. Well, thank well, you so it's much. An investment we have, we have put all our life, uh, everything we have to build up this finishing to ensure that we can be able to feed. Thank you so much, Chief Ukandike Chinedu uh, of Ipman, for your time and uh, insight and all the explanations you've given with all that's happening, especially regarding NNPCL issuing oil marketers fresh directive on refund and new price. Thank you for coming, Chief. Thank you. Um, thank, thank you very much. All right. I appreciate it. All right. You're still appreciate watching it. The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We'll take a break now and bring you sports. Stay with us.